What's going on, guys, and welcome to this segment of Pinckney's Prospects. I'm Billy Pinckney, and today we are joined by Chicago Cubs top prospect, Brennan Davis. Brennan, thank you for coming on. Thank you for having me. Happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. Now, you're a you know a high-round draft pick, second round by the Cubs out of high school in 2018. Was it a tough decision to take that offer from the Cubs, or you know, were you set on making that decision and not going to college? Uh, it, was it, was, it was really tough. <laughs> Because you never want to miss out on opportunities like college. And I had a great opportunity to go play at the University of Miami. But it was ultimately, <laughs> excuse me, it was ultimately going to come down to which platform I saw myself developing better in. And the minor league structure where I get consistent games, consistent instruction, and there's a lot more resources. It was the platform I saw myself developing the quickest in right now well it's obvious it's working out pretty well for you so far you're currently the Cubs number two prospect and the number one position player in their organization while also being a member of MLB's top 100 prospect list how special is it for you to be that high on both the Cubs and MLB's radar and being only 20 years old um feels good I mean the rankings really mean nothing to me because they they aren't what gets you to the big leagues Right. Getting to the big leagues has nothing to do with what you're ranked or any of that. So people get caught up in it. It's, it does feel good because it's an attest, it's an testament to my hard work and people are noticing. But my goal is to be a big leaguer, not be a top prospect. Right. Now, this past season was canceled for you and the rest of minor league baseball due to the pandemic. However, you were a member of the Cubs alternate site. And I talked to a few guys in different organizations and they said their clubs had a nice setup and were able to get some solid work in. So how did the Cubs conduct practice and how do you feel that you got something out of that? Yeah, of course. I, I feel like that was one of the biggest developing developing platforms for me. Because I would have been at probably high A, right. but instead I got to face double AA, A, triple A, big league arms. Right. And I got to do it on a daily basis. I got to take way more than four at bats a day. So I got over 200 at bats and I got to work with our coordinators every day, did early work, did everything that we could possibly do baseball wise to improve our game. So I think that was awesome for my development. Yeah. Now you also took part in the Cubs instructional league for a few weeks this off season. What are some of the points to focus, you know, in terms of improvement and development? Yeah. So, I mean, I just kind of took what I, what I did well and what I struggled a little bit with this summer and I continued to work on them and, refine some stuff so I kind of had a good basis going in there unlike some of the guys that didn't get an opportunity because I kind of already knew what I needed to work on and it was awesome I mean getting to be around the guys like that and getting back in that environment was was absolutely electric right now who have been some figures who have influenced your game along the way well, I grew up a big fan of Lorenzo Kane and Obviously, Jason Hayward on the Cubs now. So those guys are definitely role models of mine, guys I look up to, the way they conduct themselves and patrol the outfield. Those are big time, big time guys. Right. The last question I want to ask you today is what advice you would you give to a younger prospects, whether in high school or college, who might be going through that process of recruitment or getting drafted? Yeah. I mean, recruiting wise, not everybody has the best tools. Not everybody's the best player ever, but coaches and scouts really recognize hustle, hard work, and like determination and the way you conduct yourself. If you do bad, keep your head up, hustle on and off the field, do the little things. Those are stuff you can control because baseball is such an uncontrollable sport. And then choosing between college or going pro, I feel like it's a big decision and it's something that you have to talk to your parents and people you trust around you and what you think is going to be the best decision for you. I, th I, th I see a lot of kids that just jump into the pro life because they just want to be a professional baseball player, but it, they needed their college years to mature and get stronger and be able to with, withstand the, the mental stress of uh, minor league baseball. Right. Brennan, I appreciate you coming on and best of luck this coming season. Of course, appreciate it. All right, so all you guys watching, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here on Pink Knees Prospects.